Hello everyone and welcome to the 6th lecture in the series Python Intermediate to Expert. In this lecture, I'll be telling you about linked lists, stacks and queues and how to make them in Python. These three are very fundamental data structures and you will encounter them regardless of which programming language of which programming language you choose to pursue later on. Okay, so let's start with linked list. A linked list is a linear data structure in which the elements are not stored at contiguous memory locations. The elements in a linked list are just linked. So each element knows where the next element is. It's not necessarily just beside it. In simple words, a linked list consists, consists of nodes where each node contains a data field and a reference. You can call it a link to the next node in the list. And here is a diagrammatic representation for the same. So here you can see that I have a linked list with four nodes. Each uh, nodes A, B, C and D. So in each node, I have a part for a data and next. And head points to the first node in the list. Here head is pointing to A, which is in turn pointing to B, C and D. And finally, since this <coughs> linked list has only four nodes, the last node points to null, which means that there is nothing after it. Okay, so now let's come to its programmatic implementation. So I actually have, sorry, I have actually implemented it in Atom text editor beforehand. So I'll just explain it to you there. So first we are making a class called node, which in turn has two fields, data val and next val. Data val stores your data and next val points to your next node in the list. The next class I am making is called uh, S linked list, singly linked list. And in this, it ha only has one argument, uh, one object, uh, one variable called head val, which is initially set to null. And this linked list class also has a method defined called list print. And this function will print the contents of the linked list. So how it does that? is that it creates initially a variable called print val and it, it gives it the value which is stored in the head val and while print val is not none so while there is a next node in the list you will print print val dot data val so you will print the data stored in that node and then you will just iteratively set the print val equal to the next node in the list with the help of the next val variable. Now I'm creating a list on line number 16 and I'm giving it, I'm giving its head val, the node with the data mon, Monday. Then I'm creating a node E2 with the value two and E3 node with the value red. Now list head val dot next val points to E2. So I'm linking the, I'm linking the first node to the second node and then I'm linking the second node to the third node with e2 dot next val and finally I'm just printing the list out. So what we expect to see is Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday like a list. So let's see if that's what we get. So if I press enter and indeed that's what we get Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday on three different lines just like a list. Okay. And here is just the code implementation for the same, which I've already shown you. Okay. And now we can come to stack. A stack is also a linear data structure, but it follows a particular order in which the operations are performed. And the order is abbreviated as LIFO, which is last in first out. Also, there are many real life examples of stack. You must have seen plates stacked over one another in a restaurant or a canteen or in fact even in your own homes the plate which was which is at the top is the first one to be removed but uh, that means that the plate which has been placed at the bottom most remains in the stack for the longest period of time and you also know that the first plate in the stack is the bottom most plate in the stack so it can simply be seen to follow the last in first out order, order the stack <coughs> And now this is a diagrammatic representation for the same. This is taken from the website Geeks for Geeks. So here, as you can see, I'm de uh, depicting a stack and writing insertion and deletion happening on the same end. 
so you push here and then you pop here pop means to remove last in is first out so here is the programmatic representation for the stream you represent a stack using a list in python and add elements to the stack using the append method append method pushes elements in the stack and to remove elements from the stack you can simply use a dot pop method so pop will remove the last element in the stack you can also specify the index inside of these parentheses but yeah that that won't represent a stack so let me show you this code from atom so here as you can see it's a very short code in the first line i'm initializing an empty list calling it the stack and then i'm appending a b and c letters to the stack i'm just printing it out initially and then i'm popping it out one by one and when you pop an item from a, from a list it also returns the same item so if i can print stack dot pop will also print the element which is popped and finally i'm just printing it out after all the elements are popped which should be an empty list okay so let's see and yes we were correct initial stack consists of a b c but when but if you pay attention a is the first element in the stack is as it's at the left left most of the list in the list but when you pop elements from the stack the first element to be popped is the alphabet c which was the last element in the stack and finally when you have popped all the elements you only have an empty list which means an empty stack okay great so moving on now we come to the last data structure a queue so a queue is also a linear structure but it follows the first in first out order which is actually the inverse of the stack which followed the last in first out so a good example of a queue is any queue of consumers for a resource where the consumer that has come first is served first the difference the difference between a stack and a queue is in removing items in a stack we would remove the item we most recently added while in a queue we would remove the item that we added the first time so here is a diagrammatic representation for the same showing first in first out order you n queue which means you add elements to the queue from the left side and you d queue from the right side which means you remove from the right side okay so a queue much like a stack is also represented using a list in python and you can add elements using the append method but here dot pop parenthesis 0 means that you are removing the first item the item with the index 0 which means the first item the first item from the list queue okay so let me show you i have written it here in atom and as you can see i have written the exact same code and it should behave in the inverse as the inverse of the stack so if i run this the initial queue a b c with a as the first element but here pay attention when i dequeue elements from the queue a gets removed first which means the first element to be added was the first element to be removed and finally when i removed all the elements i got the empty queue as output which means i have removed all the elements in the output in from the queue sorry okay so that's all i had for you in this lecture and in the next lecture we will talk about some basic algorithms okay bye